In the annals of human history, few events have left as indelible a mark as the Chernobyl disaster, a catastrophic nuclear accident that occurred on April 26, 1986, in the Chernobyl nuclear power plant located near Pripyat, Ukraine. This incident, often dubbed as the worst nuclear disaster in history, sent shockwaves through the world and continues to serve as a chilling reminder of the grave consequences of human error and the unimaginable power of nuclear technology. The Chernobyl nuclear power plant, designed to provide electricity to millions, stood as a symbol of Soviet technological prowess. But on that fateful day, a series of ill-fated decisions and unfortunate events unfolded, culminating in the reactor's catastrophic explosion. The disaster was triggered by an ill-advised safety test, which was intended to simulate a power failure and the ability of the plant's turbines to provide a limited power reserve until the emergency generators kicked in. However, the test was poorly planned and executed, leading to an uncontrollable surge in reactor power, which eventually resulted in a steam explosion and subsequent graphite fire. The explosion released an unprecedented amount of radioactive particles into the atmosphere, contaminating a vast area of Ukraine, Belarus, and Russia, and sending a plume of radioactive fallout across Europe. In the aftermath, the immediate vicinity of the plant was transformed into an apocalyptic wasteland, rendering it uninhabitable for humans for millennia to come. The nearby city of Pripyat, once home to thousands, became a ghost town overnight, its deserted buildings and amusement park now haunting symbols of the catastrophe. The Chernobyl disaster had far-reaching consequences for both human health and the environment. The initial acute radiation exposure led to the deaths of plant workers and emergency responders, known as the liquidators, who bravely and selflessly sacrificed their lives to contain the disaster. In the years that followed, an increased incidence of thyroid cancer and other health issues emerged among the affected population, and the long-term consequences of exposure to radioactive isotopes continue to be studied and debated to this day. The environmental impact of Chernobyl was no less devastating. The vast exclusion zone surrounding the plant became an unintended wildlife sanctuary, where nature slowly reclaimed the abandoned land. Surprisingly, the absence of human activity gave rise to a unique ecosystem, with various species of flora and fauna thriving in the absence of human interference. However, even in this apparent resurgence of nature, the lingering effects of radiation cast a shadow over the region's ecological balance. Chernobyl stands as a somber testament to the potential dangers of nuclear power. It prompted a reassessment of nuclear safety standards worldwide, leading to improvements in reactor design, emergency protocols, and regulatory practices. The tragedy also spurred a re-evaluation of nuclear energy as a whole, with some countries revisiting their reliance on nuclear power in favor of renewable and safer alternatives. In recent years, the Chernobyl exclusion zone has drawn the attention of tourists, scientists, and filmmakers alike. It serves as a poignant reminder of the fragility of human endeavors and the need for responsible stewardship of our technological achievements. Exploring Chernobyl's haunting ruins evokes a profound sense of reflection and empathy for the human suffering and environmental toll caused by the disaster. Ultimately, the Chernobyl disaster is a story of both human resilience and human fallibility. It stands as a warning, a stark reminder that the consequences of our actions, especially in the realm of nuclear technology, can reverberate through time and generations. As we confront the challenges of the modern world, Chernobyl's legacy beckons us to learn from the past, to strive for safer technologies, and to tread carefully in our pursuit of progress, so that the specter of such a tragedy never haunts us again.